Uh, they also have a draw board, which is what I believe is in this box. Um, that's what I also got that attaches on to the press to help check your cam timing. Again, the draw board attaches onto the outside pieces here and you crank it to get the bow out to full draw. So you can take a look at the markers on the cams that will show you if they're in properly in time or not. And if they're not, then you have to make adjustments with the cables to get them back in time. The draw board. All right, so let's flip this around. We're gonna set it up over here. We've got all these pieces installed. Let's get this thing going. For the draw board, we're gonna take these knobby things out on the end here. They're just plastic. Pry those knobby stoppers off. These pieces have got like a soft felt here. They just slide in the inside here. Just like so. And then the drawboard piece, same thing, slides in. Just like so. And there you go. And then the way the draw board works is you just turn this out, this crank, this wheels out. And got a hook that goes on the D-loop and then you've got this safety loop that goes around in case your D-loop breaks. It's going to catch and not have a problem. And then you draw it in from there. So I'll give you an example. I've got my daughter's bow here that I'm going to actually be working on. Got to put a new peep sight in for her. So use the draw board and check the cam timing. I've got my daughter's bow here. I'm going to be doing some work on this. Just put the elastic around the end here. Try and get this set so that it's level and not right deep in the crease there. Attach the hook onto the D-loop, get your safety loop around the string onto the hook. That way if the D-loop breaks, you're not going to have a catastrophe on your hands. And then just start turning the crank. Just go nice and slow. Watch your draw stops. These are cable stops, so we're going to come around till we hit the cable. What? Watching the top and the bottom. There. We've got both cable stops touching. Now you can check your cam timing if you need to adjust anything there. And then just slowly go back the way you came. Just like so. Take off your loop, take off your hook. I'm just going to store this. Instead of going in and out all the time, I think I'm just going to hang this. On my handle like that. Alright, so that is your look at the Last Chance Archery Easy Green Press. I'm really excited to have this fixed to the table now. I can start working on my bow. I can work on my kids' bows. I can work on my friends' bows, get things set up, D-loop tie-ins, you know, bow setups, everything else. I do have an Elite Ethos that is in transit. That's currently being made at the factory. It's gonna be coming to me and I will be doing a bow build right here uh, for you to see. Uh, we also took a look at the Archer's Mat. Just another cool thing to have in your home shop. Uh, it's a nice place to roll wraps. It's got a nice surface. It's not going to slip and slide anywhere. And it's got some cool facts on here that might be nice to know from time to time as you're working on your own bow. Uh, some other items to think about when you're setting up a home shop are these D-loop pliers. I grabbed these. These are Easton D-loop pliers. 
really any set of pliers will do. These are great because they have some features on them, a little hook on the front for, for wrapping your, when you tie your first knot of your D-loop, crank it on the string, you tie your other set, and then you slide these in and squeeze, and that's how you stretch it out. Just a cool thing to have. Another thing are silver or gold Sharpies for marking up your knocking points. Um, I also picked up some BCY knock point thread. The BCY knock point thread is great for tying in your knock sets before you put on your D-loop. It's also great for tying in your peep sight, which is great. I also picked up some uh, D-loop cord, D-loop material. Got about 10 feet of it, which is plenty. You only need about four and a half inches each time, depending on what kind of length you want. And of course, the last piece of the puzzle that I'm going to install is going to be my bow vise. I was looking at other bow vises. Last Chance Archery has a bow vise. Uh, there's other vices on the market. There's the Baker vise, there's the OMP vise. There's lots of different vices to choose from. Um, I've decided to go with this particular one, um, which is a cheaper version, just to see how it's going to hold up. If it ends up breaking on me, then I'll replace it with a more expensive one. But it was hard for me to justify buying something that I'm probably only going to be using a handful of times throughout the year uh, for holding the bow upright. Most of the stuff you can do right here on your press. Um, so that's that. So we're going to fix that to the table and then we'll be good to go. So if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this. A lot more stuff coming this year. A lot more products hitting the table. We're going to do the Elite Ethos bow build. All the accessories I bought for that. So that's coming up. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe because there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to want to get notified about. Hit that bell for notifications. More information on Last Chance Archery and all of their products. They do have a number of things that you can choose from. A number of things that you can buy. A lot of different presses. Press accessories. They've got scales. They've got draw weight measurement tools. They've got all different kinds of things on there. They've got a draw weight. Uh, handheld draw weight scale that you pull back and it shows you your draw weight and your holding weight which is really cool. Lots of different accessories that they sell as well as vices and other things and uh, different finger sets and things of that nature so check them out at lastchancearchery.com and again if you like this video hit like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.